in this morning's prayer, time with the Lord, this verse came to my mind. And it's what I prayed for myself, Lord. And Lord, I pray that each and every one of your people will want this, that they will want this. That their minds, that your name not be close in their mouth, but far from their hearts. Far from their minds, Lord. But that in Psalms 19, 14, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In other words, let what comes out of my mouth and let what I think on, what I dwell on in my mind, be acceptable. What's going on in my mind throughout the day, be acceptable to you, O Lord. We may not be able to stop those flybys, evil thoughts to enter our minds from time to time from spiritual wickedness and high places or from our corrupt memories from when we took pleasure in sin and unrighteousness and those memories come back and we remember things we took pleasure in at one time that are evil we may not be able to stop that but what we can do what we could choose to dwell on in our minds you say set your mind in Colossians 3 2 let's, let's look at that real quick Colossians 3 2 Set your mind on things above and not on things of this earth. We could do that, Lord. There's another verse in the Bible somewhere that says, Take every thought captive to the obedience of the Lord Jesus Christ. So today, in our exercise to godliness, as it says, that physical exercise profits a little bit, but Exercise unto godliness profits in everything. So today let us, Lord, remember, help us to take what we dwell on in our minds that it will be acceptable to you, Lord. And what comes out of our mouths will be acceptable unto you, Lord. Be with us today, Holy Spirit, and remind us of these things. In Jesus' name, amen.